What's this? Best Buy leaks a couple of video games? Let's see here. Huh. Persona 5? A Link to the Past? Okay, Best Buy, you're doing too much. I know you want that Walmart Canada publicity, but let's be real, you're not gonna get it from me. Thank you, Best Buy. You're the real MVP. So before we get started talking about these Best Buy leaks and rumors, I just want you to know that this doesn't confirm anything, but, you know, I'm still excited because of one of the games, which we will get to soon. But let's talk about what happened. Apparently, Best Buy pulled a Walmart Canada and talked about games, or rather listed games, that should not have been listed on the website in the first place. The first one announced being Persona 5 S Switch. Well, Persona 5 Switch, I don't know what it's going to be called, but... This has been a game rumored for quite a few months now, ever since Joker was announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So it's only natural that, you know, this game gets rumored and leaked for the Switch. So I don't even know how true this is. I, th Persona 5 is a game that I have not played yet, simply for the fact that I am waiting for it to be announced on the Switch, because that game just seems like the type of game I would want to play on that platform. You know, the whole home console portable aspect. It's like... It's a JRPG. Those are the kind of games that are handy for being taken on the go. And we thought we were going to get an announcement of the Switch port in March. That didn't happen. And now we're getting another announcement for an announcement on April 25th. Atlas, what are you doing? Relax. Please just let us know right now so we're not constantly... I have a feeling after April 25th, we're going to get another announcement for an announcement. It's going to be a constant string of announcements for announcements for the rest of the year. Come on, Atlas. What are you doing with us? Stop toying with our emotions. But the second one being the big one that I'm really excited about, and the real reason why I want this leak to be real, is because Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this, of course, has been talked about ever since Metroid Prime 4 was announced for the Switch way back in 2017, and it just makes the most sense out of all three of these games. Persona 5 for the Switch makes sense, too, but Prime Trilogy is not even just, like, wanted. It is absolutely necessary. It is needed for the Nintendo Switch if Nintendo wants to make money on Metroid Prime 4, because, let's face it, if they don't release the Prime Trilogy and people see that big number 4, on the box of Metroid Prime 4 and they haven't played any of the other games, they're gonna, they're gonna get turned off. They're gonna say, no, I need to play the other games before I play this one. And even if you can go into Metroid Prime 4 clean slate, that's still not gonna to change the minds of these people. I know this because I was telling people, hey, you need to play The Witcher 3, it's so good, you don't need to play the other two. And then my friends I was telling back then said, no, there's a big number three on the title, I need to play the other two. And, you know, God rest their soul, because those first two Witcher games are hard to play. Ugh, guys, I really want the Prime Trilogy on Switch. Oh my goodness, please. Please give it to me. Give me that E3 reveal this year. Especially since we don't know when Metroid Prime 4 is coming out, which, hey, I did a video on the other day. You should take a look at that when we're done here. Because this third game is strange. This third game really questions whether or not this leak is real, but it also maybe confirms that it's real at the same time. I don't know. It's a link to the past on the Nintendo Switch. First of all, what? You're talking about the SNES game that came out in the early 90s? And this kind of ties into Link's Awakening when that game was announced to be remade on the Nintendo Switch earlier this year. Is this another remake that we don't know about? Is it going to be a package deal with Link's Awakening? What What's going on? Is it even a remake? Is it like a straight up virtual console type of deal? There's, there's a lot of questions that we're not going to get answered. Hell, this game probably doesn't even exist. Which is why when I first heard about it, I was like, okay, hmm, what? This... This really doesn't make sense. Maybe it's really Link's Awakening, but they renamed it in the store. But yet again, Link's Awakening is still on the shop. So what's even going on here? But at the same time, this could prove that it is a real thing. Because let's take a look at the other two games. Persona 5 on the Switch and the Metroid Prime Trilogy. Two games that have been asked about from the community for so long. And it's common for fake leaks to occur when they list games that everyone wants. 
Which is why whenever I see a 4chan post about Nintendo Direct predictions, and it's like, you know, Mother 3, Chrono Trigger, games like that, I'm just like, mm, fake immediately. But then you get this game, A Link to the Past, on the Switch. Great game, great game on the SNES, but it's also just like, who was asking for A Link to the Past on the Switch if it wasn't for the Virtual Console? Oh hey, Walmart Canada also leaked Rage 2 before it was announced. I mean, who saw that game coming, really? And yeah, everyone's asking for a Virtual Console on Switch, but this is a retail listing on Best Buy. What, what, what's even going on here? There's a lot of questions to be, to be asked, there's a lot of questions that need answering, and who knows, maybe we'll get that in a rumored April Direct. Yeah, people are rumoring, rumoring an April Direct. Isn't that crazy? I thought that they were just going to go with the February Direct and then go all the way to E3 without a single Direct until then. Which, you know, April Direct is still a rumor. There was a January Direct rumored this year that didn't happen. So maybe it'll be the case for this. But that's a topic for a whole other video. A whole other video that we're doing on the Commonwealth Realm later this week. I'd say about Friday or Saturday. So be sure to check that out when it goes up. And yeah, as you can tell, my voice is a little weird. I don't know if I'm getting sick or anything, but I don't think so. I just woke up 30 minutes ago. I think that's what happened. But you know me. And you know, Crystal is taking a sick day. So where she, when she's coming back, we're going to take a look at that Joker trailer and post a reaction video to it, baby. So that's going to be exciting. And I would love to talk way more about the Metroid Prime trilogy, but there's only so much I can do unscripted. I think that's going to be a separate video, a separate Ferris Wheel Pro episode on what Nintendo can do to make the Metroid Prime trilogy as playable as possible on the Nintendo Switch, because there's going to be a lot of... There are turkeys there. Look at the turkeys. Look at them. So evil in their evil ways. Just crossing my, crossing my, crossing my front yard. Well, that was dumb. Why did I do that? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Like I'm saying before, I will do a separate episode on its own, completely about the Metroid Prime trilogy on the Switch before that game is hopefully announced. But in the meantime, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And also, I have a Discord and a Patreon page, which you can check out. Links down in the description below or on my channel in my YouTube banner. I would like to thank two of my supporters on Patreon, Stephanie Ferris, which is my mother, and Marvin the Nuke, who is a Ferris Wheel producer. Yes, shout out to those two. Love them to death, both of them. And if you guys want to support me financially, all it takes is as little as $1 a month. Because let's think about it. If every one of my subscribers gave $1 a month, I could theoretically quit my job. But as it is, all my subscribers don't even watch my videos. So that's asking for too much. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Joey Ferris, Ferris Wheel Pro. I will see you on the next ride.